When you start dealing with dissolving different substances in water, you get into the idea of concentrations, or how much of a substance is dissolved in the water. In order to understand concentrations, you have to first understand other principles, and one of those is molecular mass. Molecular mass is the mass of one molecule of a substance, like sucrose shown here. In order to find the mass, you need a couple of things. You need the chemical formula, shown at the top, which tells you how many of which atoms are in the molecule. And you also need to have the atomic masses of those atoms, which can be found on the periodic table. Sucrose has 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens. From the periodic table, we can find the atomic weight of each of these atoms. Carbon has a weight of 12 Daltons. Now, Dalton is just a unit of measure we use for the mass of atoms, since atoms are extremely small. Carbon has a mass of 12 Daltons. Hydrogen has a mass of 1 Dalton. And oxygen has a mass of 16 Daltons. You take these masses and multiply them by the number of their respective atoms in the molecule. So for sucrose, there are 12 carbons. So we take 12 Daltons times 12 carbons, and that gives you 144 Daltons of carbon. One Dalton times 22 hydrogens gives you 22 Daltons of hydrogen, and 16 times 11 gives you 176 Daltons of oxygen. You add all these up, and this will give you the molecular mass of sucrose, or 342 Daltons.